Alrighty guys, and today, new episode of our FIFA 13 career mode series, and so thank you for all the likes and the comments in the last video, it was really um, amazing to see, and I do appreciate that, and if you are new around here guys, do subscribe to see new videos from me. So, anyway guys, this is the first game we're going to, and we go against Chelsea, which wasn't going to be an easy game, considering I've just moved up to world class, and I'm still getting all used to the, you know, whole passing thing, like when I watch people... Like MGH, for example, and Cal Freezy, and they do a lot of passing, which when I played professional, I didn't. And so now I've got used to the whole passive thing, got to pass it around the midfield a lot more than I used to. So it's sort of, you know, trying to get used to that new style. And so Chelsea did go one little, but they did bring it back with Sessin Young, uh, not Sessin Young, sorry, uh, Sigurdsson to make it one all. And so, you know, that game ended one all, which wasn't too bad to pick up one point from Chelsea. I would rather pick up one point than lose, I've got to be honest. So. You know, it's better than getting one point than none, for example. So, after that came, we take off uh, Mayuka and put Moriel on just because I felt like, you know, was, Moriel wasn't getting any game time and I really wanted to get him to play. So, I thought I'd stick him on, see how he did. And so, in this game, it's the Capital One Cup, which we actually did win last season. So, we can win it this season again. It, that would not be too bad winning it two times in a row. And so, anyway, we're going to this game against Accrington Stan Lee. And so, this first goal is from Polly, who, nice little volley, well, you could say volley, half volley, into the bottom right corner, which wasn't too bad. He's been turned out to be a really good player. Uh, when I did buy him at first, the subscriber did mention him to me, because, like I said, I never actually heard of the player. I never heard of an Ultimate Team either, never seen him. And so, that's why I thought, you know, uh, when I first bought him, is it really worth it? But now I've bought him, he's a really good player. I definitely buy him. The only disadvantage to him is his stamina. Like, when he gets to, like, let's say the 80th, no, 70th minutes of that, his stamina's, like, quarter down. So, it is really bad for him. But don't forget, he's a centre of attacking mid. So, all I really want from him is, the, you know, the three balls, and it's fine. And so, we do win that game 2-1, which wasn't too bad. And we get an international offer here from Greece, which I was going to reject anyway, just because I don't really feel like, you know, uh, managing a... You know, international team right now. Might do in the future if you guys think it's a really good idea. And if you do, leave some comments down below on that. But that's the question you want to go answer. That is really good. Uh, and that's the question. If you really want me to do a uh, international team, then leave down below if you think. And so we go against Newcastle here, and they've got two players out. We've got Ben Ben Arthur, which I'd say is one of their star players, and their centre back, which is Mbia. I think that's how you pronounce his game. And this game now is where I score one long shot with Bale, this sh shot here. Look at this for a long shot, just skies through mid-air, top corner, well, I could say top corner, but it goes into top corner, and that was in the 10th minute, you know, they went 1-0 up, and I was thinking, you know, is it going to be a hard game, this? But for this game, really, I, all the shots I took was outside the box, and I was pretty surprised that, you know, I was, I was surprised that, you know, I, I really scored all these goals, because you never normally score these all the time. But I think their goalkeeper must be off form, or you know these shots were you know just that good for them not to be able to catch them or to save them. Which I think they have cruel in that, I'm not too sure. But um, Hernandez here with bottom right, uh, bottom right hand corner, nice goal from outside the box again. And that box celebration, I always seem to do that celebration. I don't know why. I really need to change it up and maybe look at some new ones to do. But uh, I think that's Hernandez again, top top corner finish from outside the box. But like I say, I really need to do some more celebrations because. You know, when you're playing career mode, I, just feel I don't think it's worth doing a celebration because it's against a computer. And, you know, I don't really think it's worth it. But on Ultimate Team, it can be at times, you know, to annoy the opponent or something like that. To, uh, prove, I don't know, to, to, like I say, to annoy him or something like that. But I definitely don't think it's worth it in career mode. That's why I more or less skip all the time. And so in this game, we go against our second game of the Champions Cup against, I'd probably say, one of the weaker teams in our... I think it's group, yeah, group we've got. We're group A, by the way. Uh, we got us, or Spurs, we got Inter Milan. Oh, I think it's called Inter now, aren't they? Um, Inter, you've got Marseille, and you've got this team here, SFC Basel, which we go 1 0 up, which I wasn't expecting it to be a hard game, actually, but they did bring one back to make it 1 1. And so, you know, I wasn't expecting that, I've got to admit. Uh, I would have thought this might have been an easy game, but I guess not, because obviously they're fighting to, you know, qualify as well as much as I am. So, obviously, they're not going to give up that easy. And so, we do a bit of a substitution halfway through just to swap off some players that were tired. Uh, but, like I said, that Poly guy, he does get injured, not injured, um, low on energy quite quick. So, like I said, I wanted to try to swap him out. But we do draw that game 1 all, which you could say is really bad, but I'd rather, like I say again, pull off the one point than lose and get none. So, here now, 
I'm just checking the fitness and you know putting Corker on because I think ever since I've bought Hummels I haven't actually played Corker. So I always give him a game, see how he is. And we put Benito on with the 98 sprint speed. And he's got 80 strength. And if you guys didn't see the video where I bought him or last video, I don't think I played him last video actually. But uh, yeah, I'm sending him. He's a, he's a left back with 98 pace. And some subscriber reckon, uh, said to buy him. So I checked him out and I was like, 98 pace, you know, it's outstanding. I would not expect a player to have that much pace. You know, it's more than, you know, like I say, for your wall cart and all that sort of stuff. So I was really surprised. And so. Um, this game against Liverpool, we we'll go one 0 But the fascinating thing is, is this goal here from A. Carroll. You see, if he, he Andy Carroll, but you can tell by his sort of hair style that he does have. If that's Andy Carroll or not, I'm not too sure. But leave a comment down below if you think it is. And so, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe and like. And I will see you all next time.